I'm Erin McGrain, your host. Tonight on Cinema KC. Meta by Todd Norris. Sketches by Savannah Rogers. Next, we visit another KC movie location. Ami moi sous le glace by A.J. Vandeveer. Necro Dance by B. Myers. On Cinema KC. Bartender, we have a problem. This almost tastes like real alcohol. New formula. Pretty close, ain't it? You got good rye, but you let that thing stink up the joint? They help pay the bills. It's not exactly illegal, though, is it? You a cop? Private detective, well, well. What brings you here? I'm looking for somebody. You mind if I scan you? Sure. I got nothing to hide. Yeah? So what? I got two more weeks on rotation as this. I'd say it's an improvement. I say it's bullshit. Seat empty? Yes, and this one will be too if you sit down. Seriously, go away, Sim. I'd rather sleep with the bartender. Really? Oh, I understand. Is this more your style? Uh, no. I don't think you understand. She, he is a human being, one with emotions, consciousness, perhaps even a soul. You, on the other hand, have none of the above. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Go away. I think you're afraid. Afraid of pleasure? Mm. Mm. Come closer. Mm. Mm. Hey, what'd you do that for? For pleasure. Shit. I get off in half an hour. We could go back to your place. A ver, dime, ¿es esto lo que estás buscando, ah? Eh? Ni siquiera sabes lo que es. I know it's not yours. ¿Te gustaría saber lo que es? 
creo que eres más estúpida que la propia policía, señorita Rentecop. Let's get this over with, cabrón. <risa> Thank you. When the flat feeds arrive, tell them I said hello. Edgar, I'm going to upload an item. Will you send the client a standard invoice? Yes, Mr. Long. What was that? Something inside the item just sent an encrypted data file. Show me the file. Dial Meted 29th Precinct. Sergeant Yamana. And I was just saying, the only way this night could get any worse is if Dallas Delon called. Yeah, yeah. Sweetie, I need a favor. What? Another case of real scotch? I need you to decode a file. Okay, send it to me. Okay, got it. Well, I've got bad news, and then I've got worse news. Bad news is, it's a level 5 encrypted file, which means I can't decode it. And what's the worst news? Worst news is, it's the same file OCA asked me to decode yesterday. Outside cops. They said it got sent to someone out in the world. They didn't know who, though. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. And hey, quit shooting yourself. It's a crime. Right at the ticket, I'll pay the fine. I can't keep bailing you out, Dallas. Next time, it's your license. Mr. Long, should I send the invoice? No, I'm not getting my money. Not if outside cops are looking for this thing. Mr. Long, please stay out of trouble. Edgar, trouble is my business. It's a necessary thing to be able to, to tell love stories, especially at such a tumultuous time in our nation's history. So the choice to make it an interracial relationship definitely reflected uh, my own relationship and the little representation I think that we've seen of uh, interracial relationships on screen. And to make it queer as well, uh, I was I was really thrilled to be able to, to do that 
if it was a, a straight relationship, it wouldn't be as interesting to people. I don't think it would be as enticing to the viewer just because, you know, we've seen it before. But to see a interracial same-sex couple, it's kind of a radical act in and of itself. So I think that's a, a reason that it's been able to resonate in that kind of way. I really genuinely think that people like it because the story is simple, but yet there are all these uh, subtextual layers that queer people are not necessarily afforded all of the time. And I think that's what people have been kind of missing. My name is Savannah Rogers, I'm the director of Sketches, and I hope you enjoy it.
I'm Teresa O'Leary with Movie Trip. I love traveling the world and tracking down the real life locations of my favorite movies. Today, I'm in Kansas City, the Paris of the Plains, barbecue capital of the world, and the city of fountains. Let's get started. Today, I'm at the corner of 18th and Vine in the heart of Kansas City's east side. This area stands alongside Basin Street in New Orleans, Beale Street in Memphis, and New York City's 52nd Street as the birthplace of jazz in the 1930s. Greats like Lester Young, Count Basie, and Charlie Bird Parker all lived here, and their history served as the inspiration for Robert Altman's Kansas City and Clint Eastwood's Bird. Altman transformed four square blocks of the district, taking the neighborhood back in time. Street facades were created for the movie that still exists today. Behind me is the American Jazz Museum and the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum. The era's segregation laws forbade greats like Satchel Paige and Jackie Robinson from playing in the major leagues. Movies like Bingo Long and 42 depict the rich history of Negro League baseball. The entire 18th and Vine area is thick with history, and its revitalization only begs more movies film here. Thanks for watching. I'm Teresa O'Leary. See you next time as we unearth more of Kansas City's secret movie history. I guess I've sort of always been interested in combining art and stories. I really like like the 1920s aesthetic. Instead of rum runners, it was like potion runners. Just I wanted it to be like that old style, rubber hose style animation, but more like film noir. The story takes place in like a speakeasy kind of club, and because of the time restraints, I wasn't able to put in as many characters as I wanted to, to make it feel like a really vibrant, like a real environment. So if I had more time, I'd definitely spend more time on some of the background characters to make it really feel like a fleshed out world. I study a lot uh, of film compositions from older movies, uh, how animations worked. All of the uh, backgrounds in the movie are 3D models that then I took into a different program and painted them so that they had that sort of uh, old cartoony, like painterly background style. I guess in my mind, Necrodance is just the story of this kid who's never been told no, and just like the depths that she'll go to get what she wants. I'm Brittany Myers, and my movie is Necrodance. <laughs>